In this video, I'll show you a few different ways to set up your Android phone so it will work with Android Auto Wireless with your new Pioneer Next in-dash receiver. The on-screen operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer Next models. AVHW 4400 Next AVIC W 8400 Next Do I need additional software on my phone or on my Pioneer Next in-dash receiver to make Android Auto Wireless work? Let's start off with the in-dash receiver. You should go to pioneerelectronics.com and download and install the latest firmware updates for your particular in-dash receiver to make sure that Android Auto Wireless will work. For your phone, you'll need version 8.0 or higher of the Android OS installed on your phone. You'll also need the Android Auto app version 3.1 or higher installed on your phone. You can download it for free from the Google Play Store. Look for this icon in the store. Android-based phones operating version 5.0 and higher of the Android OS will work with the wired version of Android Auto. I recommend version 6.0 of the Android OS for best performance with the wired version of Android Auto. Please note, this is a one-time setup only. You don't need to do this each time you start your vehicle, just the first time to get things set up correctly. From this point forward, the in-dash receiver and your Android phone will automatically connect to each other each time you start your vehicle. In order to access the settings on the in-dash receiver, I have the vehicle parked with the parking brake engaged. Now, I'm going to check a couple of settings uh, both on the in-dash receiver and on the phone just to make sure we're all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to touch the gears up here and I want to go to the toolbox and under my smartphone related settings, I want to check the driving position so that it is left. I'm making this video for the North American market, so we'll keep that in the left position. And I want Android Auto, Auto Launch, set to on. And we'll go back up. Next is my Wi-Fi settings. And I want the Wi-Fi settings on the in-dash receiver switched on. And we'll go back up and let's check the Bluetooth settings. And under the Bluetooth settings, I want my uh, visibility for the in-dash receiver switched on. And we'll close that up. Now over on the phone, let's check the settings. My network and internet uh, settings here, here's my Wi-Fi. You can see that Wi-Fi is switched on and I am connected to a network right now. now. I don't need to be connected to a network, but I am, so that's fine, nothing to worry about there. We'll go back and my Bluetooth connection is here. You can see that Bluetooth is switched on, but it is not connected to anything. Now I'm gonna open the Bluetooth window so that the phone is visible to other devices and I'm going to pair my in-dash receiver. So under connection, we'll choose uh, the magnifying glass and that will search for devices to pair. Here's the Pixel 2, that's this phone. I wanna pair with it, so we'll choose it. That will create a pairing request with this code number, 018689, same number over here. So we'll say yes on the in-dash receiver and pair on the phone. And now the two devices are paired. Now I'm going to close this window and go out to my home screen and we'll open the telephone window and choose the Pixel 2. And you can see we've connected to Android Auto and the in-dash receiver says check your phone and we've got to walk through the initial Android Auto setup process. So now you can see we have Android Auto up on the screen. We're going to skip this uh, initial introduction. And Android Auto is ready to go with a wireless configuration. We have no wire set up here. 
Now, please note, I've done a full system restore on the in-dash receiver and cleared all of the settings on the phone, so it seems as though the two devices have never seen one another before. Another way that we can set up your Android phone to work with your Pioneer Next in-dash receiver with Android Auto Wireless is by using the hard key microphone button right here. But before we get started, let's check a couple of settings on the in-dash receiver. In order to access the settings on the in-dash receiver, I have the vehicle parked with the parking brake engaged. So we'll touch the gears here, and we want to go to the toolbox, and I want to see my smartphone-related settings. Uh, driving position set to left for the North American market, and I want Android Auto Launch uh, switched on. We'll go back up. I want to make sure my Wi-Fi settings are switched on, and we'll go back up. And then I want to check my Bluetooth settings down here, and uh, the visibility for Bluetooth is switched on. That's all we'll need to do for the in-dash receiver. Now let's check a couple of settings on the phone. So we'll go to our settings menu here, and I want my uh, Wi-Fi network. You can see the Wi-Fi is switched on. We're connected to a network, but it doesn't matter if you are connected or not. doesn't matter. We'll go back. Now let's check Bluetooth. And uh, Bluetooth is not connected to anything right now, but let's open the Bluetooth window and press and hold the microphone button, hard key, on the in-dash receiver. That will search for devices to connect with Bluetooth. You can see that we found the Pixel 2, so let's select that. And that generated a pairing request, 701734, same number here. So we'll say yes, we want to pair with that device and pair on the phone. And now the two devices are paired. And you can see that we've automatically connected the Android Auto wireless connection. Here's one more way that you can connect your Pioneer Next in-dash receiver to your Android phone so it works with Android Auto wireless. I've done a full system restore on the in-dash receiver and cleared all of the settings on the phone so it seems as though the two devices have never seen one another before. This is a one-time setup only. You don't need to do this each time you start your vehicle, just the first time to get things set up correctly. In order to access the settings on the in-dash receiver, I have the vehicle parked with the parking brake engaged. Before we get started, let's check a couple of settings on the in-dash receiver. So I'm going to touch the gears up here and I want the toolbox and in my smartphone related settings I want the driving position to left for North America and I want Android Auto Launch switched to on and we will uh, go back up. I want my Wi-Fi settings here switched on. We'll go back up and I'll go down to the Bluetooth settings here and I want the visibility for Bluetooth switched on. So we'll hit the X. Now let's check a couple of settings on the phone. We go to my settings and under network connections here, I, here's my Wi-Fi. It is switched on and I'm connected to a network right now, but I don't need to be connected to a network. That doesn't really matter. We'll go back up and I'm going to check my Bluetooth connection, and you can see that I am not connected to any Bluetooth devices right now. So we are just going to uh, bail out of that. We don't need those settings open. On the back of your Pioneer Next in-dash receiver, there are two USB ports. You'll use USB port 2 for Android Auto. So take the extension that came in the box with your Pioneer Next in-dash receiver and plug it into USB port 2. Then, run the USB extension up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. Now, here's my USB connection. This is plugged into USB port number 2 on the back of the in-dash receiver, and I'm just going to plug it into the phone. Now, you can see we've made the Android Auto connection, but it's still a wired connection because we're plugged in right here. So I'm going to disconnect the phone, and this takes us out to the home screen. You can see we have the Android Auto option available here. We'll touch Android Auto. And you can see that we've made a wireless connection to Android Auto. 
Now, please note on your screen, you can see that we have a Wi-Fi connection to the in-dash receiver. And this is information about the cell phone connection to the cell service and battery information for, uh, for the connected phone. If your battery is getting low and you need to charge the battery, you can take your USB connection from USB port number two on the back of the in-dash receiver and plug it in. And you can see that the battery indicator here uh, now shows that the battery is charging. 